Um, yeah, it's gonna come. It's gonna come later on. All right, so this, this is let's put that on the back burner right now. This is another verse that I want to mention. This is um kind of leading up to Jesus on the day of judgment. Absurd. 
So Jesus then is one of those signs. He's a sign to convince us that um, resurrection is possible. Another way to understand the exact same verse is to understand it to mean that He is actually one of the signs to show us that the day of judgment is about to happen. We have what's called in the Quran, Ashrat al-Sa'a. Ashrat al-Sa'a are the, the signs of the coming, signs of the end. So there are certain events that are prophesied that will be signs to us that the day of judgment is about to come. Like certain miraculous events, the sun maybe, it says, um, rising from the east and rising from the west, or like certain uh, completely supernatural events that will occur, and those will be signs that the judgment is you know, about to take place. So, um, we know Jesus is one of those signs. When He comes back, then we know we will have maybe you know, 50 years left or 100 years left, something like that. But we know time, the time is limited now, because He's going he's gonna to make His um, rise with the, the Methi. Right, so in that way then, He is one of the signs of the coming of the actual resurrection. So you see the difference between the two. One is that He's a logical proof that the resurrection is possible. And the second interpretation is that He's a, he's a physical proof that, the, um, that the, the, we should expect the, the end of this world and the coming of the resurrection very soon after He, he reappears. Okay, that's, that's the last verse we have about Jesus' life in this world. After that, This is a verse of Surah Al-Ma'idah. These are the last three verses that I'll be able to share with you. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيْسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمْ أَأَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُولِي إِلَى هِينِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنْ أَقُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِحَقِّ إِنْ كُنْتُ قُلْتُ فَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ تَعْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِي ولا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام القلوب. And remember, remember is actually another good way to say this. This is actually a, a, a prophecy, what will, a conversation that will take place on the day of judgment. Um, like recall or recount when God will say on the day of judgment. Recount this, this conversation between God and Jesus. O oh, Jesus, son of Mary, was it you who said to the people, "Take me and my mother for deities alongside God"? He will reply. Jesus will reply. Immaculate are you, far be it from you to have partners. It does not behoove me to say what I have no right to say. Had I said it, you would have known it. You know what is in my mind, but I do not know what is in your mind. You know well all that is unseen. Okay, so this um, directly addresses the idea of the deification of, of Jesus, and in some cases Mary as well. So this, um, this belief exists now, it has existed for, for, for centuries, um, and it will probably continue to exist. Allah, as part of His, um, His judgment on the Day of Judgment, right, He calls everyone forth to account for their deeds, including the Prophets. The Prophets aren't free from judgment. Right? So this is a case where He's actually calling Jesus forth to, to kind of announce, to make sure, right, and, and, and let Him announce that He didn't fall short of His end of the, end of the mission. That Jesus somehow didn't corrupt the message or say something wrong, and because of that, um, Christians became, you know, started to deviate and think that he was, he was the son of God instead of a prophet of God. So to do that, he, he confronts him. He says, Jesus, are you the one who taught people that, you, that they should take you and your mother as gods? Now immediately the question arises, Christians don't believe that Jesus that Mary is God. <coughs> and if anything, we have, we have the Trinity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right? Jesus, yes, they, they, like certain sects at least um, do still have this belief that he's, he's actually an incarnation of God. They have different ways of explaining it. In some way, they, they call, call him a de- deity. Allah the Holy explains it in two ways. One, one thing to think about is that um, at the time, 